Uh, welcome back. You don't need to adjust your set. Good Hope FM in studio. In fact, looking too beautiful to be stuck on radio. Now, as I think we have proven this morning, it is a Friday. The weekend is upon us. So why not kick back and have a little bit of fun in the kitchen, whipping up something truly delicious. Yep, we're all very excited. We're gearing up for the weekend, so it's time to treat ourselves with something sweet. Take some time out this weekend to do a little baking and make your family this delicious apricot pear and date pudding we're making in the Espresso Kitchen this morning. And to show us exactly how to create this masterpiece, we are joined, of course, by the lovely chef Moira. Moira, oh, lovely to you. have you in the thank kitchen. You, and thank you for having me. Listen, I'm always looking forward to your sweet treats. Oh. I must be honest. Well, you know, we are in autumn now. We're going into winter, and yes. there's nothing better than a nice warm pudding. Absolutely, and I think absolutely. we all grew up with Cape Tipsy Tart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And this is a variation on it, and okay. it's with no nuts. So for those people who are allergic to nuts, it's especially for you. There we um, go. But if you wanted to add nuts in, please do. Okay, All cool. Right. So Let's start off. My variation has got um, ku pears and, and ku apricots in. All right. And this just gives a very new dimension to it. We still keep the dates in it. Um, and it's really luxurious and delicious. So, so first Love of all, it. we're going to make the sauce. Okay. And um, so what we do is we take the leftover ku juice from, right. from the ku apricots, and then we add in the sugar. Do you want a hot kind of stove? Uh, just a medium hot? stove. It's just all we're wanting to do is melt the, the sugar. Okay, cool. All right. And we're going to add in some water. All right. And then some butter. The butter just makes it, you know, just brings it all together. Yes. Just when you Let me grab pop that it up a little bit. There we go. There we go. Go. All right. All right. So basically, we're just going to let that melt, and then when it's melted, we're going to add we add our brandy in at the end because we don't want all the all the alcohol and yes. flavour to evaporate, and a little bit of salt and the vanilla essence at the end. All right. So you can really leave that just to, on a low heat to melt, and we can come over to. Okay. Make, so we can actually leave yes. it. Right. Because that's only that only gets poured over the pudding once it comes out the oven. Perfect. But I like to make it so all the flavours come together. Right. All right. So in our big bowl, we, now at home, you can use an electric mixer. Yes. Uh, I just don't want to use it because I thought so I we... guess I'll be your electric mixer then. I know, it's, it's <laughs> wonderful. All right, so we've got some sugar in there. All right. And what you're going to do is you're going to cream in the butter. Right. Now, I've got soft butter here. Now, you want to, if you were at home, you would be using uh, an electric mixer and you'd want it nice and soft and creamy. Yeah. All right. So basically, we're going to cream the, the, the sugar and the butter. Yeah. We're going to add in the eggs. All right. And as you're coming together, I'm going to actually add in the eggs. It will help dissolve yes. uh, the sugar the sugar now. there. There we go, get a nice and smooth mixture. this is such a nice mixture. and easy, quick and easy dessert. And we really, you know, yeah. like Malva pudding and all those, people love them. But the yeah. Tipsy Tart is really lovely for winter. Easy. Look how great that is. That was in no time. Who needs an electric mixer? You know, I told you I have nothing to worry <laughs> about this morning. <laughs> all right, then we're going to add in some salt. All right. And some baking powder. Got it. All right. Now, please don't whisk so hard no, 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 when no, I add no, in we'll... the flour. I don't want a white face. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll all turn right. the gears down right. a little bit. All right, So this is sifted flour. Okay, cool. Just right. to get rid of any lumps. Correct. Got it. All right. So you want. So now you can see it's all come together. It's quite dry. Once we add in some more moisture, it, yeah. it'll all come together. If you want to um, switch over to a wooden spoon, it definitely might be a good idea. Yeah. All right. So you mix that together. Now what I've got here is some dates. Now earlier, what I did was nice. it's very traditional with a tipsy tart. You pour boiling water over your dates to yes. soften them, and you add bicarb. Now the bicarb is what's going to also help your pudding to um, to, to rise, rise with the bit. with the baking powder, yes. and it gives it a nice moist That's consistency. It. All right, so you're doing a great job there. I'm going to pour Thanks. this in slowly, and then you're just going to stir it. So now we combine all of this. You combine together it again. all together. Oh man, and I love the flavour. Can you smell of the the, dates? those dates yes. coming through? And then very quickly, we're going to add in the ku pears. What I've done here, I've just obviously drained it, which yes. we use the liquid for there, and then I've chopped it. Okay. Okay. The pear and the apricot just add such a new dimension to this tipsy tart, and I just love it. I love the flavours that come out. Perfect. All right, and then obviously I did the same with the apricots. Yeah. I've drained it. And that's, there's your mixture. And that's it. And then what I do is I've taken some spray and cook and I've greased my um, cake tin. Yep. Or your baking dish. You can use round, square, whatever shape you prefer. You can even do individual ones. Yes. And so, then now we're just going to pour all that right, in. All right, so that going there now. Let's do that. Correct. Let's do that. There we go. Oh, look at that beautiful Should mixture. I take that? Yeah, you can Jeez, take you it. You see, you like a one-man show here. You're becoming <laughs> such an accomplished chef here. <laughs> I promise I'm not My gunning for your job. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> I see this. <laughs> All right, there All we right. go. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. All right, and then you just even it out. And yes. obviously you would put it into a preheated oven yes. um, at 180 degrees um, for 30 to 40 minutes. And obviously you would test with a skewer. Yes. All right, so that's done. Yeah, that's and coming, we just melting nicely add now. Add in our brandy. Oh, and then um, we added the vanilla and then just a 
a pinch of salt. Now the salt just actually balances out the sweetness of, of the flavour. And then once your pudding comes out, you yeah. pour the sauce over, you let it saturate, and then you serve it. Easy as that. Okay, yes. cool. Well, there we go. If you want to get your hands on the recipe, this is a beautiful tipsy tart uh, recipe. Nice little beautiful recipe to warm you up from the inside, especially now going into winter as well. The keyword is KU. SMS that to 33728. That's KU to 33728. We'll send you the shopping list. Also a link to the recipe that you can go follow step by step. But here are those steps again. Sprinkle bicarbonate of soda over dates, then pour water over. Allow to cool. Cream butter and sugar, then add the eggs and mix well. Fold in the flour, baking powder and salt to the egg mixture. Stir in the bicarbonate dates, coup apricots and coup pears. Pour the batter into an oven dish and bake for 40 minutes. For the sauce, heat the fruit juice, butter, sugar and water for 5 minutes. Remove from the heat and add the brandy, vanilla and salt. Pour the sauce over the pudding as soon as it comes out the oven. For the full recipe, visit the Espresso Morning Show Facebook page or log on to www.expressoshow.com. SMS the keyword KU to 33728 to receive the shopping list on your phone. Click on the link provided to view the recipe. SMSs cost 1 Rand 50, no free SMSs, T's and C's apply. And there you have it, that keyword once again, KU to 33728 for this beautiful mouth-watering dessert. Moira, are you just finishing it off there? Yes, I've just cut a piece and I've put in some cream fresh on. You can oh. use um, normal cream if you'd like, or some custard, cool. or pouring cream, and then just with some extra That's KU it. fruits on the side. And I love just how beautiful and spongy it looks. Yes, can nice you see? And, and you can see all the different layer, you know, yes. all the different fruits in here. It's nice and moist, and you can just smell the brandy coming through. It's very luxurious. Oh, it's going to go for down so well. Thank it's you so much. That keyword once again, KU to 33728. 33728 and we'll send you everything you need to know. Why not try it out today? Hey, spoil the whole family or like I said earlier on this uh, coming weekend. But stick around. We're also asking you to send us some of your favorite dessert recipes. You can do so at food at expressoshow.com and uh, we might just make your recipe on the show. Who knows? Me and Chef Moira. It's going to be awesome. Only the best cook serve coup because they know it's carefully grown and made with meticulous attention. So when you serve coup, you can trust you serving only the best.